Hi guys, it's Brian from brightech.co.uk. I've got another tutorial here for you today covering the Acer eRecovery Manager software that's installed on Acer laptops and desktop PCs. I've had a lot of emails and a lot of uh, people complaining that they've actually set up their management system, Acer management system, some time ago and forgotten the password and they can't use it and they need to re do a re reinstall of their system which can be a bit of a problem and they've actually contacted Acer and they want 60 to 80 quid apparently to reset the password. Now you may have actually bought the laptop second hand and someone's already set up the password and you now don't know how to, to use the software which can be a bit of a pain too. So today I'm going to show you a way on how to do it yourself basically for free and it's not that difficult because by luck Acer have actually saved the password in a normal DAT file that's on your machine somewhere so it's actually easy, easily readable. So what I'm going to do is you need to get a piece of software called Linux CD so you can get that from www.slacks.org or you can use Ubuntu Linux CD or any sort of Linux CD really as long as it loads up and uh, you can burn it to a CD. So basically now you've downloaded that you want to download the live uh, the, the ISO one yeah so burn that to a CD and then put it in the, the actual CD drawer reboot the computer and make sure you're booting up to the CD and not the hard drive first. You have to do that in the BIOS you have to change the boot order basically it's pretty easy to do either push F2 on your keyboard or, or Dell in the bottom right hand corner of your keyboard most of them are them it may be yours might be slightly different but they're the main ones that you use sometimes you don't even have to go into the BIOS and you can actually change it the boot order from pushing one of the F keys one of, maybe F10 or something like that and it actually lets you change the boot order so basically once you've got that in there and you've got your boot into the CD it will start to load now once it starts to load you need to click on this pure text interface there'll be a selection that you can choose from choose the pure text interface one yeah because we only need to see the password we're not interested in anything else once it starts to load and you click on the pure text interface and it gets right to the very end and it's, and it's at the command prompt ready to go you need to type cd space forward slash mnt this one here and type enter and then type mkdir space acer then type enter and then type mount space minus t space vfat space forward slash dv forward slash hda1 space forward slash mnt forward slash uh, forward slash acer I think I said flash there. <laughs> anyway, so basically, once th this part here is for old laptops. If you've got a SATA drive, you need to make sure you use the SDA1 in this part here, yeah? So if you've got a brand new laptop, it's going to be probably an SDA1, a SATA drive, yeah? So you need to change the HDA1 to SATA or SDA1, okay? And then push enter and then type CAT space forward slash tools and then forward, forward slash AIMDRS dot that that is where the password is it's in this file here but you won't be able to just right click and open it okay because it's encrypted so and then type and then once you've done that push enter and then you should see a text with your password there it will say your password and that's it basically you've got the password reboot the machine take the CD out put it back to boot to hard drive and then boot up to your desktop type go into the actual interface system and then basically put your password uh, put the password in it will let you use your e-recovery and it's absolutely free so anyway I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and it's been useful for you if it has please leave your comments and uh, please vote for it Thanks very much. I'll be making some more tutorials in the future. My name's Brian from brightech.co.uk. Bye for now.